What's up guys, today I'm shooting this 2017 Honda Civic Type R and after this shoot I'm going to go ahead and Lightroom and do a quick edit and show you guys tutorial but for now here's just a quick walk around the car and everything so yeah it's very clean. Here's the interior. Six speed manual with these sporty red seats. Here's the rear seats. It actually has a lot of leg room, surprisingly. And then here's the rear hatch. I'm at this location in Reno, Nevada that has a bunch of graffiti and stuff so thought I'd do a shoot but for now I'm just gonna wait till I get another camera and I'll just record myself shooting but I'll cut this video and splice in some editing for you guys so yeah enjoy here's a an after shot of the edit here's a before and then I went in I went into Photoshop and I lowered the car <laughs> just out of fun, but here's a little before or after. And I'll show you guys how to do that too. So let me go back to Lightroom. I'm using Lightroom 5, so let's see. Oh, that's Photoshop. So we'll go back to Lightroom. So here's that before and after. I'm going to go ahead and reset it and start from scratch. So the first thing I normally do is go to the exposure. Just mess with it. For this instance, I'll just click reset. So what I'm going to do is just go over to the graduated filter. I'm going to hold the shift key, which kind of keeps it straight. Uh, let's see. Uh, straight enough. So then I'm going to turn down the exposure a little bit, turn up the clarity, something like that, move it a little up. I'm going to duplicate that, and then I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so it's not as harsh. Right around there is good. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the new. I always double tap that. I'm going to go to clarity, turn that up a bit. I'm going to hold the space bar click in, zoom in a little bit, and highlight this, mess around with this a little bit. So yeah, I like to get all the badges and the emblems on the wheels popping a little bit more. So see how that looks, how that grill's a little dark. I'll just darken the rest of this grill, make the, the Type R logo and Honda badge pop out a little bit more. So. See how that looks. Uh, kind of sloppy right there. Let me clean that up. I'm holding Control Z to basically, it's like a back button, so or a back hotkey. So, Let's see. All right, that looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Brimbo brakes. Clean that up a little bit more. That one, don't even need to worry about. Just Honda emblem. It's making it a little darker. I'm hitting the slash key above the enter key. That just kind of shows me where I'm at. What I've kind of changed. I don't really like this right here. Here. Probably make this tire pop out. Make it a little bit more detailed. And then that will kind of blend that really dark area. Bump it down a little bit. But yeah. The shoot today was pretty cool. The guy was really nice, so that's always cool. The spot was kind of weird though, because normally there's way more graffiti. Looks like they're taking out some of that graffiti that was in there, which kind of sucks, because, I mean, it didn't really hurt anybody. Nobody ever goes over there, so. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hit the spot removal and see if there's any major glares I can take out of. So. Normally this inner ring is what uh, edits when you're using the adjustment brush, but in this case it's the outer ring, so kind of click it like that. And this always goes somewhere else where you don't want it. Move it about there. I'm going to hold space and click. 
just to see where that's at. Kind of made a difference. Not really. <laughs> Try that again. Maybe go a little bit bigger. All right, there we go. We'll do it to this one over here too. That one was good. Maybe on the badge a little bit. Drag this around. Uh, it's pretty good right here. Yeah, I normally like to take all the little glare I can get out of the photo and just make it look a little bit cleaner. Yeah, that's pretty good. So other than that, there's that little spot right there. Get rid of that too. Or blend it. You can feather this too. I haven't really, it's all it's all the way maxed. Or actually, never mind. Yeah, feather it a little bit makes it a little bit better. It's kind of weird up there, but you can't even tell from that far away. So what else can we do? We can use that uh, graduated filter, hold the space, play around with that a little more. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. We can make it pretty bright. We can move it around. There's different styles that people do. It's always good to have your own style though, but I mean, you can kind of use someone else's style and adapt and make your own out of it. That's what I kind of did. So move that like right there, kind of light up that area more, make this pop. Let's go back, let's go to exposure, bump up the clarity to like 17. Let's hit this grill a little bit so you don't really see the wire mesh. Oh, did not mean to bump that up. Turn that down a little bit. I'm just using the scroll wheel to make the the area in which the filter affects a little bit smaller. So yeah, on these meshes, I've done a few evos like this. I like to darken them up a little bit. I feel like it looks a little bit cleaner. In person, it looks fine. It looks way darker in person, but broad daylight on the photos kind of looks weird. So let's see, kind of freshening it up. Even though this is a 2017 Type R, but okay, let's get that grill a little bit better. You could see the difference. It kind of just makes it pop a little more. Get this area. Yeah, I like to really click that slash key a lot just to see if there's any areas that I need to hit a little bit more. That one's good. Other than that, we could hit the shadows a little bit more too. It's just all up to how detailed you want to really get into the photo. And I mean, some people make prints. It's really good to do this if you're going to make prints. I do a lot of Instagram edits. I don't really do prints a lot, so it doesn't really matter, but it's always good practice. So I'm going to hit these shadows a little bit more. It's good to get the shadows real even or else it's going to look really weird like that. So do that real quick. But yeah, every edit's a little bit different, you know, so you always learn more when you shoot more, you know, but let's get around this, these tires a little bit more underneath. Yeah, this car was absolutely clean. The guy's from California, so got the car for 40,000, I believe, or 42,000. They bumped up these type bars and marked them up, the dealers, so much, but it's understandable because it's such a rare car, but yeah. Yeah, I just um, I just recently turboed my Project Honda that was in the first video, so that's kind of cool. It just needs to get um, tuned and everything. It doesn't even hit boost and the oil feeds. Oh, you could right click and click delete, but the old oil feeds all messed up. It wasn't even fed right from the old owner, so. The turbo's blown, so I need to get one of those. Okay, so we can go back to clarity, bump up the clarity, put it down a little actually, like 22. Darken the exposure. We can hit these windows, or the front window anyways, just add a little bit of little bit of tint to this. Make it make it pop out a little bit more. It's gonna darken up those seats, but it's gonna make them a little bit more crispier. Let's see. Yeah, I just got done editing all his photos. They might be linked in. Well, I'll put my Instagram in the link in the description. And 
you guys could see more of the photos I've shot and I'll post more of the photos I edited today on there so so yeah but yeah that window you could see it just makes it a little bit nicer that back one yeah that the rear window same effect get these pillars yeah Wait, do I want those pillars no leave those uh leave those alone And there we go. Yeah, I mean you're not even gonna tell these little details, but I just I just like getting getting it right the first time and just good practice. This doesn't even matter. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch that. Let's see. Actually yeah. Just so it's even. And I'll hit this this piece right here, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, if you guys have any questions I had Adobe um, Lightroom, and I actually purchased it for like 170 bucks on Amazon. And my computer, I switched to a new setup. So for some reason, when I logged into my Adobe, it said I didn't have it. I called Adobe, so I just I found a video on how to get Lightroom for free. So if you guys want to get Lightroom for free, there's videos on it. But yeah, that's what I did. Same with Photoshop, but I never bought Photoshop, but whatever. Let's see. Yeah, I just made this mirror pop a little bit more. So, yeah, that's that's about it. I can go ahead and go could go ahead and go into Photoshop right now, but yeah, it's just simple clean edit. I don't I mean, some of my edits I do are crazier than others, but in that case, it's just a more simple edit. So here's the before and the after on the Photoshop. It's kind of weird right here because <laughs> that tire is gone. It kind of looks weird. But um, here, I'm going to go ahead and do this for you guys too. It's pretty simple. So hit I hold space bar. Oh, not in this case, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom. Zoom. Okay, Z. Yeah, hold Z, click, go about a few times, and then I go to the <sighs> go to the lasso, the polygonal lasso tool. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Actually, let me let me do that. Yeah, get rid of that. I'm gonna go a little bit above. You'll see in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace the borders of the car, and I'm actually gonna do it really tight right here, so it doesn't look weird. Because I don't want just like an open space right there. And then I can just edge off of there. And I'm just going to follow the fender lines where the wheel gap is. And I'm just clicking around that. And then if you need to use spacebar, just click and hold that. That way it doesn't mess up. And then you can let go of the cursor and it will place it. So I'll do this quickly for you guys. But yeah, you're basically just following the the fenders around the fenders and then the side skirts just clicking around it like that sorry if this tutorial if these tutorials are really bad this is like the first one i've ever recorded so go on this front front side skirt um right there And then I'm going to hold that space and I'm going to get rid of that shadow. I'm going to go above it. I'm going to hold space, put one here, put one here, and then, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to, there's like a circle right there. And once you see that, you click it, go to edit, copy, click edit again, and hit paste. And then, I forget how to zoom out, so I'm just going to click here, type in 15, zoom out. And then from there, I'm going to click this button right here. And then with the arrow keys, you can press down, and it lowers the car, which is pretty cool. So yeah. So yeah, that's how I lowered it. It's pretty... Once you do it more often, it's, it's easier. But you could slam this as much as you want, but it's going to look really weird. So I normally just go to, to where the side skirts are dark or... If someone has a request, maybe they just want the wheel gap just a little bit closed. So it's all up to you. And that looks a little bit better, actually. 
because if you go too much, it just looks really weird. And there's just that white space right there. I'll, I don't want, really want to zoom in, but there's that white space right there that makes it dead giveaway that it's Photoshop. So I'll go back in Lightroom. I'm not going to do it right now, but I did it on the finished product of the other one where I took this to Lightroom and I just filled that in with black and blended it in. But I don't, I'm not going to lower it this much. I'm going to go just a little bit more. So that's there. So it's pretty low, but yeah, you guys get the point. So yeah, that's the finished product. So hope you guys enjoy and there'll be more tutorials to come. If you guys have any feedback for me, just let me know down in the comments below. And thank you. See you guys next week.